Hi, today I'm going to do a look on blogger and DJ Bipling. And some of you might already know Bip's blog. It's a mixture of fashion and music and lifestyle and art. And I really like it. It's really fun. I like to look at it, see what Bip's been up to and what she's wearing. I know Bip from just around London and parties and things. I always love her makeup. You can tell she's really into makeup. She's always experimenting with different looks. And that's how we bonded, really. So I've asked her to come along today with her makeup bag so I could have a really good look at what she's got in there. And for this film, I'm going to use her favourite lip colour and just do something really fresh and summery. So I hope you like the look. So I'm just applying Healthy Mix Serum Foundation in number 56. I don't really need much, just a little bit. And it's going to be quite a quick look, I think, just with a really great lip colour. Because I asked you to bring your favourite lip colour and I... I think it's great, so designing a look all around the lip. Yeah, I'm a Saint Tropez spray tan fan. Oh, are you? How often do you have it done? Well, about once a week. The whole body, the whole yes. face, body, everything. I think it's fantastic. Are you much paler than this thing? Well, I tan very, very quickly, um, but because I've been so busy, I haven't actually been in the sun as I'd like to. So yeah, and the weather's been terrible here. So yeah. Well, although. Because I, I do go very dark very quickly. Yeah, so you don't it's, need to... Yeah, sometimes it's quite tempting not to wear sun cream. <gasps> don't say I that in here. I always put it on. Oh, good. I was just, I I was just about to send you out. <laughs> you were expelled from the House of Eldridge for such <laughs> blasphemous talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a little bit of concealer there. Here and there. I would like to try this mascara. This is a very bright kind of plummy colour, which I think will look amazing with your eye colour. I'm not going to curl your eyelashes because I know that you are super sensitive to that and will probably hit me if I do. Just look down for me. So I'm just going to apply some of this beautiful, it's like a really reddish pink mascara. So great with your eye colour. And the same shade underneath. I think I want to make your eyes just really lashy. I'm sort of getting quite into coloured mascara again. I haven't really used them for a while, but there's so many really, really nice ones around. And I think they can look great. You, know, you don't need to look 80s. If the rest of your makeup isn't 80s, then there's no reason why a little bit of colour on the lashes shouldn't look great. Okay, so next I'm going to add some individual lashes. I'm going to use the medium length, so a little bit longer than normal, because I sort of want to make Bip's eyes a bit kind of cartoony, I think, like a little Japanese cartoon character. Just look down for me. So I'm just going to dot these along. Probably going to put about five or six on each eye. So while that glue is drying, a bit, tiny bit of pencil in your brows. And add some brow, nice shiny brow gel. I don't really want to pencil them too much. Because it's going to be very lashy, I think. A really nice separated, glossy brow. It's going to look more modern. And before I go in with the mascara again, I'm going to use this pencil, which is Silver Spark by Max Factor. It looks kind of black, but when you put it on, just look up for me. Can I just do along your waterline? Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah, it's a really nice alternative to black. It's kind of a, a smoky silver. You still get the definition, but without the harshness, I think, of the black. Next, I'm going to use this Hourglass. It's a cream bronzer and a cream blusher. So I'm just going to start with the bronzer. Use it. It's very subtly under the cheekbones there. Just for a little bit of a glow. Don't really want anything too much because we're going to have quite a bright lip in a second. And then a little bit of the cream blusher as well. So 
So I'm going to leave the blusher there because I'm going to wait till the bright lip's on and then come back and see how much, if we need a little bit more or not. So I'm just going to go back in now with the pinky purple mascara and add it all over the individuals that I put on. So you get that nice colour when the light hits it, you'll really see that amazing colour. I think it'll look great. You mightn't see it so much here, but I think in daylight that's really going to pop, especially against your eye colour. So before I finish your eyes, I'm going to do your lip, and this is your favourite colour I hear. Wow, it's called, and it is really a wow colour. Really nice, warm pink. Very bright. I love the way you always wear really bright lip colours. Okay, before we finish off, a tiny bit more mascara look up. I think a little bit more underneath is good. Yeah, as I say, I don't think this is quite going to show up on camera, but it's such an amazing colour. For a finishing touch, I'm going to use MAC Face Gloss, which is kind of like a lip gloss, really, but it's more silicone-y, so it's less sticky. I'm going to use that all over. Lips, eyelids. I'm also going to use a little bit on the top of the cheeks here. This gives a really nice modern sheen because it hasn't got any shimmer. And I think it goes really well with the big lashes and poppy lips. So that's it, you're done, Bip. Look based on your favourite lipstick. Oh, I love it. Summertime fresh. <laughs> it is, it's very fresh and poppy. You look great. Thank you. Thank you. Do you? <laughs>